Hello, my name is Ram and welcome to another video of Matuklasan. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to compute for the skewness and kurtosis value in Microsoft Excel. Let us have this example. A bank branch located in a commercial district of a city has the business objective of developing an improved process for serving customers during the noon to 1 p.m. lunch period. Now, the waiting time in minutes is defined as the time the customer enters the line to when he or she reaches the teller window. And the data are collected from a sample of customers during this hour and shown below. We need to describe here the shape of the data distribution using skewness and kurtosis. If our data set is in this column, to compute for the skewness, all we need to do is to type skew in one of the cells. You have two choices here. The skew for the sample is given here while the skewness for the population is in this function. Since we are considering a sample, so we're going to use skew, open parenthesis, selecting the data set, and closing it with a close parenthesis, we have now the skewness of negative 0.99. For the kurtosis, just need to type equal kurt, and it returns the value of the kurtosis in the data set. So selecting the same data set and uh, pressing enter on your keyboard, we'll have a kurtosis of 0 0.23. Now, if you have uh, the data analysis tool pack in your Microsoft Excel, and if you want to learn how to install it, you can watch my other video. We can use this uh, function to find the skewness and kurtosis of this data set by selecting this add-in function in the data ribbon column we have here the descriptive statistics uh, for the input range I'm gonna choose this range again then for the columns I'm gonna choose uh, labels in first row because I included the data set uh, row here right and for the output range I think I'm gonna place it here so I'll just select select a particular range in this sheet then choose summary statistics by choosing this function we're gonna have now the values of other um, measures in statistics but we only need the kurtosis and skewness here so did we get the same result yes for the skewness we have uh, negative 0 0.99 which is this one and the kurtosis is also 0 0.23 now, if we're going to interpret these values, we can use this rule of thumb for the skewness by Balmer and uh, this um, figure for the interpretation of kurtosis value. So, since our uh, skewness value is negative 0 0.99, it is highly skewed or moderately skewed. Yeah, it's moderately skewed because negative 0.99 is between a negative 1 and negative 0.5. So this is moderately skewed. Moderately skewed. And to be specific, it's uh, moderately skewed on the left side because it's negative. If it's positive, then it's moderately skewed on the right side now the kurtosis is 0 0.23 and this is a uh, kurtosis greater than zero so this is leptokurtic so the central uh, location of the values have this high peak in the center to verify the values i constructed a simple bar chart for the data set so it could be seen here that the graph is skewed or moderately skewed on the left side which is in our description a while ago and also it has a high peak on the right side that is why we have a positive value for the kurtosis and since this value is greater than zero this is a type of leptokurtic distribution 
and that's all for this video if you want more uh, deeper understanding of these topics you can always check my business statistics playlist in the description below and my other tutorials in excel please 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 like share and subscribe for more updates like this see you in the next video